Welcome to this video that is intended to show us how to balance redox reactions using one of the two common methods, precisely the ion electron method. Now it's a very easy thing to do. All you would need to do is follow stepwise. Although at some point you would um, need to have had basic knowledge of redox to be able to follow through in this study. So assuming you have no previous knowledge of redox, you may want to look through redox in my uh, textbooks, any of my books that contains um, the topic reduction and oxidation, and then come back to follow through on this video. Or better still, you may have to um, wait for my video on the main body of reduction and oxidation to learn the basics of oxidation numbers especially. Now here's the reaction, I've been given this and the task is to um, balance it, balance this ionic equation and I've been told in bracket there that I'm to balance it in acidic medium. So how do I go about it? Now when we are given an ionic equation like this, why did I call it ionic? Yes, everything is in the form of ions. When we are given an ionic equation like this and we are asked to balance it in any medium, whether acidic or basic, the first thing we must do before we even begin to think of medium is split this one equation into two. Because it's a redox equation. One of the species there is a reducing agent and it's undergoing oxidation while the second is an oxidizing agent and is undergoing reduction. So split them into two. We call each of the resulting solutions a half. So you have the oxidation half and then you have the reduction half. So I'm going to write here now, oxidation half. So what's happening in the oxidation half? It's very easy to see. This is ion two. And on that side, we have ion 3. It means that ion in this reaction went from an oxidation number of plus 2 to 1 of plus 3. That's an increase. Of course, going from plus 2 to plus 3 is an increase. So we say the ion there has undergone oxidation. So in the oxidation half now, ion is going to feature. I'll write Fe2 plus. Then on that side, I'll have Fe3 plus. Now we'll ask ourselves, how does Fe2 plus become Fe3 plus? In the first place, what does the 2 plus stand for? It tells us that the protons are more than the electrons by 1, or sorry, by 2. The protons are more than the electrons by 2. Then on that side, the protons are now more than the electrons by 3. And the only way that could possibly happen is if Fe2 plus loses an electron. So the electron lost has been put here. So what you are seeing in this oxidation half is ion 2 has become ion 3. Deficiency of two electrons has become deficiency of three electrons. That means in the course of this process, one electron must have been lost. And that's what I put there. What is more from basics? What is oxidation? electron loss. So the electron loss is what I'm seeing there. Having written down the oxidation half, I'll quickly check whether it is balanced and how do we do that? First you check atoms, then last you check charges on left and right side to see that they are the same, like this. On the left, one ion, on the right, one ion. So we say the atoms are balanced. There's no other atom on the left or right. This is an electron. It's not an atom. It's a subatomic particle. So what about charges now? On the left, the total charge is plus two. Going to the right, what do I have as charge? Plus three plus minus one. Plus times minus, minus. So plus three minus one plus 2. So it means on the right I have plus 2 and on the left I have plus 2. So that oxidation half is balanced. 
Now to the reduction half. Of course, on the reduction half, I'll have the other two species. So MN04 minus becomes MN2 plus. That is what happens in the reduction half. But if you know how to calculate oxidation number, if you calculate for manganese here, you'll obtain plus 7. So it means that this manganese here is deficient in 7 electrons. That's why it has a charge of plus 7. But by the end of this um, change, the man manganese has a deficiency of only 2 electrons. That means it must have gained 5. If I used to lack 7, but after a time I lack only 2, it will mean that I have gained 5. And of course, from basics, what is reduction? It is electron gain. That means there has to be a way of balancing this now. There has to be a way of showing the 5 electrons that we gained. So I'm going to write 5E minus. And then on this side, I'll write MN2 plus. So what this equation is showing me now is that manganese went from plus 7 to plus 2 due to the gain of what? 5 electrons. Now just in case you are still wondering where the 7 is coming from, I said that has to do with your ability to calculate what? Oxidation numbers. If you calculate the oxidation number of manganese here, you get plus 7. Alright? So, is this okay? Am I okay with this um, reduction half? No, I'm not. I'm not because I have one manganese on the left, one manganese on the right, so my manganese is fine. But what about the oxygen? On the left, I have four oxygens, none on the right. So it means there has to be a way of accounting for these oxygens on that side. And that is where you now need to know your medium. You need to know your medium now because how we account for oxygen deficiencies in a reaction that occurs in an acidic medium is not the same way we account for oxygen deficiencies in reactions that occur in basic medium. So since we have an acidic medium situation now, I'll tell you what happens in the case of the acidic medium and still tell you what would have been done if we were to balance in a basic medium. So this is the most important part of this and I'll encourage you to listen attentively at this point. Now here we are. Four oxygens on the left. How many on the right? None. That means we have a total of four oxygens as excess on this side to be accounted for on the other side. Now it's not always like this, four, zero, two, zero, and so on. It's possible you have four oxygens here and you have only two there. Either way, it will mean that there are two excess oxygens here that we need to account for. So now that we have four and zero, I want to account for these four oxygens. See how I'll do it. Because this is in acidic medium, the side where I have the excess oxygen, I am going to add something to it, and that is hydrogen ions, protons. How many protons would I add? Well, the aim is to convert this oxygen to water on the other side. And if you look at the formula of water, H2O, you realize that you need two hydrogens to combine with one oxygen. So these four oxygens that I want to put on the other side as water will require a total of eight hydrogen ions. So when I put eight hydrogen ions here, together all of these can appear on that side as 4H2O. Now I can check my atoms again, whether they are balanced. One manganese, one manganese. Four oxygens, four oxygens. Electrons are not to be counted, they are not atoms. So I'll go to this one, this is hydrogen. Eight hydrogen atoms, eight hydrogen atoms, right? So on both sides, my manganese, oxygen and hydrogen atoms are balanced. We said before that the next thing to check is charge. Total charge on the left should be equal to total charge on the right. Now watch this. For the MnO4 minus, its charge is minus 1. 
what about 5e minus? 5e minus actually means e minus, e minus, e minus, e minus, e minus. So the total charge here is minus 5. So you could just do it as 5 times minus 1, minus 5. So what would we have here therefore? Plus 8. So this is plus 8, minus 5, minus 1. If you write that, minus 1, minus 5, plus 8. This is minus 6, plus 8. That gives me plus 2. So on that side, water has a charge of 0, and then Mn2 plus has a charge of 2 plus. So it means the overall charge on the right is plus 2. Is that the same on the left? Yes. So it means therefore that we have equal charges on the left and right, and this equation of mine is therefore balanced. So I have successfully split that one equation into two into the oxidation half and into the reduction half. So what's next? The next thing is supposed to be that I add up the two balanced halves so that I have the final answer, the final balanced ionic equation. But if I do so now, I won't get a correct answer because while in the oxidation half, ion claims to have lost only one electron, in the reduction half, manganese is telling us that it gained five electrons. It's not possible that um, during a trade, a man buys from a woman, and while the man claims to have just spent 10,000 in the woman's shop, she claims to have just gotten or received 5,000. The amount spent should be equal to the amount received. So I need to make electron gain equal to electron loss. And the way I'm going to do that now is multiply this equation by 5. When I multiply that equation by 5, everything gets a coefficient of 5, including the electrons. And in that case, electron loss would be equal to electron gain. Now, what if the electrons here were 3 and there we had 2? In that case, I'll have multiplied that equation by 3 so that this becomes 6. Then I'll multiply this one by 2 so that this also becomes 6. So most importantly, you make the electrons equal by multiplying by a factor like I'm about to do now, which means the oxidation half is about to change. The oxidation half becomes 5 Fe2 plus to give Fe3 plus, that's 5 also, plus 5E minus. Now I'm happy because electron loss is equal to electron gain. I am now free to add up. Adding up the two equations now, I have 5 Fe2 plus plus MnO4 minus plus 8H plus to give 5 Fe3 plus plus Mn2 plus plus 4H2O. Notice that the five electrons I had on both sides, I didn't bother bringing them down because they'll cancel out. Then there are cases where you may add up two equations like this, and after adding up, you see those four water molecules there? It's possible that on the left you have two water molecules. It means you won't leave your answer like that. You need to eliminate these two water molecules and eliminate two from there so that you have water on only one side. Nothing should appear on both sides of a balanced redox equation. In addition, what if this had said in basic medium? Well, the oxidation half would have remained, that wouldn't have changed. What would have changed would have been the reduction half. And in the case of the reduction half, here's what would have happened. We have MnO4 minus plus 5E minus becoming Mn2 plus. You know, we're at this point before I added H plus or 8 H pluses to get 4H2 on that side. So assuming we were still at this stage and we observed that it was to, to be in basic media, what would have happened? The side with the excess oxygen, the same side with the excess oxygen would have received water molecules, water. So unlike in this case where we put H 
on the side with excess oxygen to reflect on the other side as water. In basic medium, the side with the excess oxygen will receive water and then the water along with the excess oxygen will reflect on the other side as hydroxyl ions. Now, when we asked the question of how many H plus to add, we said double this, 8, so that 2 ratio 1 will give us water. But in this case, you don't double, you add the exact number of excess oxygen you want to account for. So since I have 4 excess oxygen here, I'm going to put 4 there. So 4H2O plus 4 O's here will give me 8 OH minus on the other side. So this would have been my balanced reduction half, not that one anymore. So this is the balanced reduction half in acidic medium, and this is the balanced reduction half in basic medium. So it means that the simple rule is, in acidic medium, if you have excess oxygen on one side, add hydrogens to that same side so that together they can form water on the other side. How many hydrogens? twice the number of oxygens. But in a case where you have excess oxygens on one side and the reaction is rebalanced or the reaction occurs in basic medium, then you add the same number of oxygens that you are trying to balance. That number, you add water molecules of it to the same side, then everything will reflect on the other side as OH. And in that case, what would our final equation have been like? We would have added these two. And that means our final equation would have been 5Fe2 plus plus MnO4 minus plus 4H2O to give 5Fe3 plus plus Mn2 plus plus HOH minus. So if you compare the two, it appears like we just brought the water molecules from that side to this side. And then we took the H pluses from the left to the right, but wrote them as OH minus. Well, that doesn't work all the time, so you'd want to um, at least take some time to try to balance the equations if given. So that's how to balance a redox equation in acidic or basic medium using what we call the ion electron method. Thank you for watching, but please remember to like, to subscribe, so that you get notifications and then it's also important that you remember to share this video with your friends so that they can benefit from um, this rich source of knowledge that you have found and then if you have comments they will be very much welcome in the comment section once again thanks for watching